I'd like to show you a real quick video here of the daily chart of the S&P. As many of you know, we've had a bounce of 50%, a V bottom actually in the market overall uh, from way back here in uh, March 9th. A lot of this is market manipulation, the Fed pouring money into the account, whatever, but whatever it is, you got to trade what you see. And Varun Kanotra, a friend of mine and a fellow trader and one of my course owners, uh, pointed this out. There's a nice divergence on the daily chart. Now, the last time this happened, if you look back here, uh, we've got the same thing. We've got a, a nice divergence there versus a divergence here. All right, this doesn't quite print. And we got a nice pullback. And so what I did was I said, well, lo let's see what happens with the Fibonacci levels and take a Fibonacci level from the last retracement up to this level. Uh, what I'll do real quickly is um, adjust all of the uh, Fibonacci levels so you can see what's happening. And you've got some nice projection of, projections of where things can go. Now, in general, you know, a quick 25% return is not all that much. 38% brings you back to the 49. And anything beyond that uh, gets down here in these previous peaks. If we were to come back here with a 618 retracement, that would be a pretty serious turn. Uh, two other things you should know is that uh, September is notorious as a down month or counter trend month. Seasonally, it's... Uh, retraced almost every year. There's always a big crash in September. Uh, later on, toward the end of October up through November, there's a big rebound. So just knowing that should prepare you for a few things. But as you can see, the ergodic uh, indicator here, and this is on the daily chart, uh, pretty much doesn't lie. Uh, it happens time after time after time, and here's a continuation divergence to keep us going down the turn and bounce off the long term. And so, so the same principles work on all time frames. So hope this helps. Uh, I'll post this in the trading room tonight.